Will be a bittersweet goodbye come tomorrow after nearly 40 years a candy store in Manhattan is finally closing its doors and it's been a sweet spot for decades for generations of families but the owner now in his 70s says it's time to move on. Here's Iowa News reporter Stefan Kim. From the outside it looks like a piece of history with its faded store sign and weathered glass but then you peek inside and you see why for nearly four decades this store has survived. Because within these walls, time has stood still. Love to go to school, wake up every morning, get dressed, take a bath, and go to school. My first stop was the candy store. Okay, Jenny Nieves was in middle school when Raul's candy store opened at this location in Alphabet City. It was 1981, but its 75-year-old owner, Raul Santiago, he says it's time to leave. I'm tired, he says. I've watched the kids have kids. Thank you. And their kids have kids. Then again, some kids never grow up. My head turned white, but I still feel like a kid. You know, I still, I still like my candy, you know? Those ones that you used to buy and eat and they stress out like that, hala hala, or that, you know? So you miss a lot of candies, you know? The thing about this store, it's like an assorted bag of candies. They're all different. Some are sweet, some are sour, like a lifetime of memories. But they all belong to this store. At the time, to be honest, he was very grouchy. <laughs> Nieves says Mr. Santiago wasn't so sweet at first. The kids used to stretch down Avenue B, and it drove him crazy. When there was a line outside just to get candy, he, couldn't, he, he was like, oh, no, he couldn't take it. He was so frustrated. <laughs> but she learned over time he was kind and generous. He tried hard to hold on to the people, the memories. It's going to hurt not hearing the laughter of kids, he says. He's not the only one who has to learn to let go. Because I'm going to miss hold on. It's going to be hard because we are family here. 